guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I wanted to try out this strawberry daiquiri eyeshadow palette from the Beauty Crop. And this is what she looks like, absolutely gorgeous. Now this palette consists of 12 versatile red and pink shades that come in four different finishes, velvety mattes, creamy metallics, cream to powder shimmers, and long wearing glitters. Now this very richly toned pigmented palette has no parabens, it's talc free, cruelty free, and vegan. It also has a 12 month shelf life. Now this palette comes in a booklet of four different palettes which are part of a cocktail collection. But today I just wanted to focus on this beautiful pink toned palette. These are all of the swatches, which are very, very gorgeous. So let's just go ahead and jump into the look that I created today. So I'm starting out with my eyebrows, of course. I'm filling them in with my LA Girl Slim Shady Eyebrow Pencil. And I use the color Blackest Brown for my brows. I'm also going in with my Wet n Wild Concealer, just using that to clean up around my brows a bit. Now I'm starting out with my complexion today. I'm using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. And I'm applying this with one of my Juvia's Place foundation brushes. I actually really, really like this foundation brush. It's actually pretty easy to use and it has a nice even distribution of product. For concealer, I'm going in with my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer and I'm using the shade 11. And I'm just going to conceal and highlight in my usual areas, blending it out with a damp beauty sponge. And this is actually one of my Shop Miss A beauty sponges. I love these, they are extremely soft and very affordable. Now to conceal, or I'm sorry, to set my concealed areas, I'm using my Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I have the shade Golden Bronze. This setting powder is very, very nice. I like it a lot. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way Complexion Powder, and this one is in the shade Spice Rub. For bronzer today, I'm using one of my Minted Duos. This is one of their bronze and highlight duos in season one. This one is a little bit lighter than season two, and I really like it because you can build it up very nicely without worrying too much about overdoing it. Now for blush, I'm using my Steve Laurent blush today in the shade I Am Blushing. This shade is so pretty, you guys, and this blush formula is very, very nice. As you can see, it is highly pigmented and it blends it out very, very nicely. Now for highlight, I'm using one of my Wet n Wild highlighters. I have not used these in so long. This one is in the shade Crown of My Canopy, and I'm just using it to create a nice soft highlight on my cheekbones as well as just the bridge of my nose today. Now to move on to the eyes, I'm prepping my lids with my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and just using a brush to kind of blend that out all over my lid. Now the first shade that I'm going to start out with in this palette is Ripe. And I'm just taking that shade, placing it in my crease area and using a large fluffy brush to just kind of blend it out throughout my whole eyelid space. As you can see, it's very nicely pigmented. Now to blend that out, I'm taking this lighter shade Sweet and placing that just above that first shade, using it to diffuse those edges to create a very nice soft blend in the upper portion of my eyelid. Now to deepen my crease area, I'm going into the shade Rum, which is a really pretty dark burgundy type shade. It still stays within the pink color scheme, 
but it's really, really nice and deep to help you darken up that crease area. I really like this color. And it blends out very nicely. Now I'm going into this Lit Glitter Base. I'm using this for the first time. My girl Lily got this for me. I've really been curious and anxious to try it because I know that in these Beauty Crop palettes, there's one formula, which is the cream to powder shimmers that drive me crazy. So I'm going in with the shade Sugar right now, which is one of the cream to powder shades. And it's just very, very crumbly and chunky. This is the only shade in the whole palette that I really don't care for. And it's one of the prettiest colors. So it's very frustrating. Now I'm just going in with some of my NYX glitter glue because I want to use this loose glitter, or I'm sorry, this pressed glitter shade, which is in the color Sour. It's a beautiful green and pink glitter mix. It's so pretty, you guys. And I really, really like how it looked on my lid on top of that pink shade. It's just very, very pretty. So I'm just placing that right on top of the shade Sugar just to add an extra dimension to this look. Now for my eyeliner, I'm going in with my NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner and just creating a nice bold black line. I'm also going to drag this out and create a bold wing for this look as well. Now to smoke out my lower lash line, I'm going back into the shade Rum, and I'm just using that to make sure I bring that same color scheme down on my lower lash line. And for the inner portion of my lower lash, I'm going into the shade Fresh. This is one of the regular shimmer shades in the palette, absolutely gorgeous. Very beautiful, bright, vibrant pink shimmer shade. Very easy to use. Now for my lips, I'm going in with my Ellerian ColourPop Lip Liner. And I'm just lining my lips and I'm going to go ahead and pucker those up a bit. On top of that, I'm going in with one of my Milani Matte Lipsticks. And this one is in the shade Matte Diva. It's a really bright bubblegum pink shade, but as you can see, the lip liner kind of toned it down a bit. And on top of that, I'm going in with my Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Lip Gloss has a little bit of a pink hue to it, very comfortable lip gloss. And I'm setting this look with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist today. So this is the look, you guys. I love this pink eyeshadow look. It's not a color that I would normally wear for shadow, but I really was excited to play around in these beautiful, bold pink shades and this gorgeous glitter today. So I really hope you guys like this look. I hope you enjoyed watching me create it. And I really, really appreciate all of your support. So thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!